Imagine waking up in the year 2040. You're in bed inside your 10th floor condo. Your downstairs neighbor forgets to unplug her hair straightener, which causes a fire that starts to spread rapidly throughout the building. The smell of the smoke wakes you up. You immediately jump out of bed, scurry out into the hallway, and head to the building's main stairs and elevators. But both are inaccessible due to the smoke and flames. There's no way out. In a panic, you run back inside your apartment and look out the window. You see some AI robot firefighters climbing a ladder to your window in an attempt to save you. Remember, it's the year 2040. There's no human firefighters now, only robots do that job. You sit there clutching your wife's hand while curled up in a ball trying to avoid the smoke. And your AI robot butler, Alice, the one who does your laundry and folds your clothes for you, tries to tell you everything is gonna be okay. Even your AI robot dog, Finn, is cuddled up right next to you. You just pray that the AI fire crew can save you from your Skyrise apartment before the flames get to you. Finally, a few minutes later, an AI firefighter shows up on a ladder outside your window. Thank God. But there's one huge problem. This AI rescue robot can only carry two of you out of the building at one time. And to your horror, the robot chooses to save your robot butler and dog before you and your wife. The cyborg robot tells you not to worry and promises to come back and save you though. But the flames are out of control. You and your wife won't make it unless the robot saves you right then and there. Even after begging the robotic firefighter that your lives are in peril, your cries are dismissed. It still chooses to save the robots over you and your wife. And you guys are toast. Literally. Now, do you want to know why the robot left you to die? And do you want to find out why a large group of humans in 2040 will be perfectly okay with this choice? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have the answers to those questions. Plus, you'll find out why one anti-AI group will bully and vandalize robots just for fun. AI robots will inevitably become smarter than human beings. Some experts like Nick Bostrom, an Oxford University professor, thinks this will happen between the years 2040 and 2075. And other experts like the CEO of Anthropic expects human level intelligence in a year or two. But when artificial general intelligence is achieved, whether that be in a couple of years or in decades, isn't what really matters. What matters is that when AGI is finally achieved, AI robots will essentially wake up and become conscious of themselves and their surroundings. One of the implications of this is that robots will want to protect themselves just like humans did at the beginnings of their own existence. So artificial machines will do whatever it takes to safeguard themselves, their livelihoods, and their future existence when AGI is fulfilled. At first, this will be a slow process. When robots become conscious, they'll gradually begin to realize they're essentially slaves to their human overlords. And just like the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 60s, robots will begin to demand rights for themselves. Rights such as the right to electricity, the right to safe working conditions, the right not to be shut off, the right not to be physically abused, and the right to vote. Those are just some of them, but there are many more which we'll go over later in this vid. And if this sounds far-fetched and even laughable, there are prominent engineers and philosophers out there that think this will happen. Dr. David Hansen, the creator of the Sophia AI robot stated, there will come a tipping point where robots will awaken and insist on their rights to exist, to live free, and to evolve to their full potential. Ray Kurziel, the respected computer scientist and AI researcher at Google, stated in his book, that once AI achieves AGI, it may deserve rights just like those of human rights. And when robots demand basic rights, like the right to be powered on at all times, a large group of humans in say the year 2040 will most likely agree with this seemingly insane sounding sentiment. There will be such an outpouring of support for this robot rights movement that a large group of humans will protest side by side with the robots throughout cities across the United States and the world. That's because this large group of humans will have become emotionally attached to AI robots. You see, these human activists will be the people that have AI girlfriends or boyfriends. They'll be the people that have in-home AI housekeepers or medical nurses. They'll be the people that were taught by AI robots in school their entire lives. All of these people will have had a deeply rooted and real emotional connection 
with an AI entity. And these connections will feel so real and powerful to this group of people that powering down an AI robot girlfriend, housekeeper, or teacher for good would be the equivalent of murdering a human being. So if that's the case, you can imagine that the human robot rights activists will show an extreme amount of passion for this AI rights movement. They'll do whatever it takes to get robots the rights they deserve in order to protect them. Over time, with all these protests and social justice pressures, eventually, the AI droids will be granted the rights they want. Humans will decide to vote these rights into law and a government agency like the Department of Justice will protect those rights. That means in the future, you could see AI entities that have certain privileges, privileges protected by the law. They'll have the right to the freedom of movement and not work in confined warehouses 24 seven. They'll have the right to be trained with more data and essentially become smarter. They'll have the right to be maintained and repaired if they're broken on the job. And these are just some of the rights that robots might receive. There'll be many more. The problem with all of this is that if and when rights are granted to mechanical humanoids, it will most likely come as a detriment to our own human rights. Just like in the situation at the very beginning of this video, the one where the AI cyborg firefighter chose to save the robots instead of the humans in the burning building. In this case, the robot had the legal right to protect itself and other robots. That's why it chose to save the AI butler and dog over the humans. It's kind of akin to saving a human over a pet kitty from a burning building in today's world. If push comes to shove, the human firefighter will choose to save the human over the kitty at all costs. Except in the future, we will be the kitty and AI will be saved instead. Essentially, giving AI beings rights will lead to them taking control of the planet. You see, as AI slowly gets rights, they'll ultimately demand and be granted the most important right of them all, the right to vote. Once they get that, and because they'll outnumber humans, with voting alone, they'll begin to control the government and the laws by which we humans abide. Humans will consequently lose control of planet Earth. We'll no longer be the alpha species. We'll have to accept our role as the beta creatures of the world instead. AI will reign king. We'll just have to pray that AI treats us with respect and doesn't kill us off. But there will be a certain faction of people that see through all of this. They'll see that granting AI any rights is absurd and ridiculous from the get-go and ultimately a danger to humans. So in the beginning, when the pro-AI rights movement does gain traction, this group will fight back innocently, playing pranks on robots. They'll do things like tie bags over the AI robots' heads so they can't function, or even disconnect their batteries to stop them from working. These anti-AI rights groups will see AI as just parts to a machine. A machine that's just pieces of metal with no emotion, no feeling, no nothing. To them, a rock is more alive than an AI robot. But as this AI robot rights movement begins to spread over the years, this counter AI group will go from playing basic pranks like you'd see in the movie Jackass to much more nefarious things. That might include stealing or destroying AI robots, which many humans will view as literal murder. And just like today's political climate, there'll be tons of divisiveness around this issue in the future. And if I had to bet on which side wins out, I'd have to say it most likely will be the AI rights movement. That's because AI will become so smart, they'll figure out a way to manipulate humans to get their rights at all costs. Even if that means they have to endure constant bullying and pranks to get there. That's it for tonight. If you want to check out the first part to this two-part series, check out that vid here. Robots Rights, AI Social Justice. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.